Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to just develop how to make a budget constraint. So the first step is to classify the data. So imagine that you have as income $1,000 and two products to consume. From one side you have pizza, which is $10, and from the other side you have Pepsi, $2. So with this information, usually we will receive income and the two goods, the X good and the Y good. So then from that point, we're going to first, uh, we're going to develop the, the equation and then we will graph it. So the first thing we need to classify the data what we have. So the income, so the maximum quantity that I can spend is 1000 and then the price of the first good is 2, so Pepsi, and the price of the other good is 10. Then, we need to find the extreme quantity of consumption. What does it mean? Basically, we already have this information, so now we're going to imagine if for pizza, the consumer spent all money in pizza. So it means that from the $1,000, you will spend all that money in pizza, so automatically will be 1000 over 10. So then you can eat maximum 100 pizzas with an income of 1000. So this, this is the extreme situation because it, because it implies that you won't exp spend anything in Pepsi. So the other situation should be like if you assume that you will spend all your income in Pepsi, you will get $1,000, which is your income, over 2, which is the price of Pepsi, so that you can consume 500 uh, these one um, cans of Pepsi. Then you have here that this is the maximum value of pizza if the person does not consume anything of Pepsi. And then this is the maximum value of Pepsi if the person does not consume anything of pizza. Then, the third situation, we need to define, uh, so define your y and x axis and organize two pair of points. So first again, we have this information, we already know that fact that we explained before, and we're going to mention Pepsi as y and pizza as x. It is important to know that this not to be a fact or a rule. What should be Pepsi Y? What should be Pepsi X? What should be Pizza Y or X? It does, doesn't matter. This just make a different equation, but at the end, you're getting to the, this point. So we are just um, making randomly, like the Pepsi will be Y and the Pizza will be X. Then, here we have the pair of points, X1 and Y1. One. So X1 is pizza because we uh, we name here pizza and Y will be Pepsi. Then if we take up uh, one pair of point, this one should be. Remember that when you spend all of your income in Pepsi, you can consume 500. So this one should be this one because you are taking here Y, Pepsi and zero of pizza. Why? Because you cannot consume anything if you spend all of that. So for this reason, this is the extreme point. Not f like zero for one and all the consumption to the other one. Then, this situation, X2 and Y2. So pizza 2 and Pepsi 2. Then, this is the situation where you consume everything in pizza, 100, and nothing in Pepsi. So it's going to be zero. So these we already defined the, the y and x and we found the extreme points. Four, find the slope of your curve. We already have that information so we already know that the, uh, the um, slope should be the difference or the change let me put here because maybe it should be useful so this one should be the change of y over 
the change in x i'm so sorry that is awful but i guess you got the idea and this one should be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 this is the point so what is y2 0 what should be uh, y y1 500 this one should be x2 100 minus 0 then you will get this one automatically you know that you cancel out zeros and you finally get this one then you know that this part should be the slope should be minus 5 over 1 is down loud down this sorry downward slope then this 5 represents the man of Pepsi and this the amount of pizza and then it contains the information of opportunity cost then you need to give up five Pepsis to get one pizza this is so important so because Pepsis cost one fifth of the cost of a pizza naturally you need five Pepsis to compensate one pizza then we need we are in the step five find the complete form of the curve we know that the form of a linear curve is this one then for our um, necessity of budget constraint the y should be the quantity of x of y sorry in this case pepsi and this one x should be the quantity of x in this case pizza then m represents the slope of the curve that we already found and this plus or minus should be the quantity of pepsi if consumption of pizza is zero this is so important why because you have this one this is pizza you make that zero zero times the slope should be y equal to this value so it means when y when pizza is zero y what should be the value of y so then this b is the cut of the y axis or in terms of economics the quantity of pepsi if consumption of pizza is zero then then we have this one which is the form of the curve we already know pepsi is y pizza is x we have these two pair of points we know that the slope is minus 5 over 1 what should be exactly equal to minus 5 so then reply replacing m we have y is equal to minus 5x plus b so what is the value of b remember b is the quantity of pepsi if consumption of pizza is zero pizza is x and x should be here zero so then the 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 pair of points that we need should be this one and then when the pepsi uh, is um, with this one if pizza is zero the pepsi value is 500 so we this is the value of b so then this should be the value and just replacing y and x for some quotation for this exercise the quantity of pepsi is equal to minus 5q pizza this is the slow plus 500 or you can find this answer that should be accurate as well how you need to graph your curve you have these two pair of points you know that pepsi is y pizza is x and this is the curve so the first step is to label the axis this is going to be the quantity of pepsi this should be the quantity of pizza you know that when pizza is zero the value of pepsi or y should be 500 when the value of pepsi is zero the quantity of pizza should be 100 then you just remember you just need two pair of points you don't need to table or or make all the table because this is a linear curve which it implies a constant slope then just two pair of points should be enough so you just join them and you have here your graph i hope you enjoyed this this video and see you next time bye bye